In many ways, the prayers of 50 or 60 years ago are the same prayers we pray today, and we can take encouragement from those who have seen God answer again and again. This was in 1941. Uncle Cam sent a letter to all the members. There were 47 already in Mexico at that time. And he said, you know, we have all these opportunities. We need more workers. Let's ask the Lord to double our numbers. So he wrote a letter, sent it out to all the workers, and asked them to pray. And he says, write all your friends. Tell them about the opportunities. Tell them to, you know, join up and come with us. So they were all praying to double their numbers. And he said in this letter, he said, you might as well make it a round number. It doesn't make any difference to the Lord. Make it 50. So they were praying for 50 new workers. At the University of Oklahoma in 1942, there were about 125 of us. Out of that number, 50 applied to join Wycliffe and were accepted. I've seen God do some tremendous things in answer to prayer. During the Bibleist People's Prayer Project that we started in Wycliffe back in 1982 when Bernie May sent out this call for people to take the name of one of the languages with no Bible and to start praying for him by name. That whole ministry, uh, as it developed, taught me a lot about prayer. That uh, uh, because I was here, I was getting the letters coming back from people who had started to pray, and then we sent them some word about some answer to their prayer and to see what was happening in their lives. And we had a big red stamp in the office, and I can remember we go bang right across the letter and read answered. See. And I can remember running back through the file and seeing all of that red showing up in the file. It was terrific, the number of prayers that were being answered. We said, and I believe God wants every man to have the Bible. It makes a difference in my praying. Why? Because I can't go before God honestly and ask Him, Lord, you've given me the whole Bible. I've got multiplied versions. I got more versions than I know what to do with. But what about that poor guy out there? He's one of a little group of 300. And he's got nothing. What, what should I pray for him? Lord, give him some crumbs, please. And I'm stuffed with a gourmet meal. Give him some crumbs? I can't pray that. It chokes in my throat. I can only ask that God give him the same as he's given me. How can I ask for any less than what God's given me for every other man? I'm no better than they. I pray for that man. I don't know how you're going to do it. It looks humanly impossible. I can't conceive of how it'll ever get done, but you're the God of the impossible. And I just hope that no one will ever be able to say in heaven, that they stopped before they'd come to my language.